In this video, we will look at some of the key statistics and price analysis for Zcash. So hello, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to be notified when I'm releasing fresh videos. So as we say today, we're going to be talking about Zcash. We will run over some of uh, the key statistics first and then we'll jump over to trading view and do a little bit of technical analysis. See where we can get some potential entry points. So it is ticket ZEC. We are currently ranked 34 out of all cryptocurrencies that are listed on coin market cap. We have a coin price today of 57 point seven dollars and we are slightly down today's trading not much 0.76 percent we have a maximum supply of 21 million zec in circulation we have 10 million of those and 24 volume we're talking about 501 million dollars with a market cap of 580 million dollars so the, the 20 hour, 24 hour volume is pretty much close to the market cap which is pretty insane really if we just scroll down another key stat here is the all-time high and you will not believe this. So five thousand nine hundred and forty-one dollars. I will confirm our chart. October twenty nine, two thousand sixteen. It's going back a long, long way. So we will have a look at the chart soon and see what's been going on there. And finally, market pairs where we're trading the most. You would expect it to be Binance. We are getting one point six percent of the overall volume there against Tether. Another 0.3% against BTC. As you can see, this coin's been out a long, long time, and and we have a lot of trading pairs. Just, just on coin market cap, we have at least 249 recognised pairs. Not all of them are getting volume, but there's a fair, fair amount of volume on this, and a lot of exchange. So, let's have a look on TradingView now. Let's do a little bit of technical analysis to see what has been going on in the past and what we could expect potentially coming up in the future. Right, so let's get cracking into trading view, and this is Zcash versus Tether. This is on the weekly time frame on the Bitrex chart. I'm using Bitrex as it it does go back a lot further, and it goes back to that crazy bull run that we had at late 2017 to 2018. That's when it is. I'm going to class that as its all-time highs. I don't know what the fuck coin market cap is talking about with five thousand dollars. I've not researched the coin itself too much with fundamentals, so. It could have got there, but I, I highly doubt it because it's a long, long way from here. But if we just look at that, that was the all-time highs and we're a long, long way from there. We've been on a downtrend ever since. But what I want to do is mark up some key areas of support and resistance and have a look at when we could potentially buy in. So we'll have a little bit of a zoom in and see what we can see. So we'll use this tool here. So as you can see, we did bounce up there and that come up all the way through. And that was pretty much a key area of resistance there and that was support there so that's one level that we can identify we'll change that to the weekly if we just zoom in again we have one there so that level there we acted as resistance and it come our way through and you could say we acted as resistance there as well and just plot that on there so that's again a weekly level let's see if we can get in a little bit lower so I'm going to mark it up anyway so that's the the yearly lows that we had uh, could have gone away through and that gives us a base in case it ever does go back down there but chances are it's quite un unlikely really and we've got one level there. I'll mark it up as well so these levels it come away through and acted as resistance there and acted as resistance quite a couple of times so let's drop into the daily time frame and first I want to zoom in and have a look at what happened on the 13th of March. This is when Bitcoin had that 57% that dump and all altcoins pretty much followed it down. But ever since then, everything's been on it up and it's been quite a, quite a profitable time if you've been trading alts and buying them at lows. So we did wick down there to the lows and if you bought some or managed to scoop some orders up then we did do a 479% a price raise. We went from $17 all the way up to 102 So that's quite a big move really. Um, but let's drop into a daily time frame as we are here and let's see if we can get any key areas of support and resistance levels and it will give us some, some potential areas to buy in. Uh, so let's have a look. Obviously, there's a key level there. Come all the way through. Acted as resistance there, and it's acted as support very recently. Let's change that to a daily time frame. Gives a bit of structure. See if we can see any more down towards these levels. Probably can't really. So I think that will do now. 
I think we've got enough structure there in place. And what I want to do is look at some potential areas to buy in. So we will put the Fibonacci on here. And we will take the bottom of the move. So wherever body closed. All the way up to the top. So we had a slight double top there on the 6th of August. And ever since we've started to retrace down. And what I want to do is potentially look at some key areas to buy in. Whenever I'm buying a project. I will not hopefully buy at the top i will wait for a retracement and this is a very valid retracement now and i always buy at a 618 level but we've come down there pretty much um sooner than i thought really and i still think that bitcoin is going to come down we have market momentum out with the bears now if we put the hitman market momentum find it this works out when there is a, a switch in market momentum as you can see in february this year we was very bearish we dropped down and then we turn bullish in april and now we've had this this indicator pop up. I mean, it might not last long if the market switches and turns bullish, but currently we are in a downtrend, if you can see here, straight down. And I do think that there's opportunities to buy in lower. Whenever I'm buying lower, I always target the 618 level, but we've already bounced off air already and I've missed that trade. So what I'm going to do is potentially target the 786 level. So anywhere around these levels. So you're talking from, I think if you can get in at $30, $30 Anyway, up to $44. Anywhere around this level would be good. The chances of it wicking into this area are quite high, in my opinion. If we just put the EMAs on, I use a 30 m 8. As you can see, we had a cross there, pretty much close to where the bearish indicator was. If you look down here, we had a bullish indicator, and that was very close to the, the cross there as well. So I do think that this cross has happened now, and that we're going to start to do a further retracement. So... The chances of getting in down here are quite high, in my opinion. So that's my buy zone there. And we just got to monitor it. If you want to put some orders in down here and hope to catch a wick, if not, if you have the time, then just monitor it and, and watch it come down. Also, I'll just have a look at the, the BTC pair, if anybody trades in BTC. We'll just use a Binance one here because I'm only looking at current time frames. So we'll just get rid of the, the Hitman, get rid of the EMAs. So what I want to do is take that 13th of March was around, where was we? I'll tell you what, we'll take that as the full move from there. So we'll take that double bottom there, all up to the top. And again, we've retraced quite a lot on the BTC pair. So in my opinion, I think anywhere around me, is, look, look how nicely that hit that 786 level. Very nice. And potential is to go up now. Um, so... This could be a good area for a long-term investment if you're trading in your sats. And that's talking around 53,000 sats around that level. But monitor it. If we do start to push up, then um, potentially buy some. But if not, if BT starts to pump and drain out and alts, then this could start to come down. And we could come back down some of these levels down here. So around 4,000, you could see that area. If you just mark it up anyway in that. That area down there could be a potential buy zone as well. So just monitor it. I don't trade in BTC, so if you trade in, if you trade in Bitcoin, then just I'd, I would monitor and watch it come down if it possibly does. But that will wrap it up for today's video. That is just a, um, a bit of an insight to where I think you could buy. We're not a million miles off. This could easily wick down with a Bitcoin dump. Um, uh, and that could be that and you could pick some nice investment opportunities up so like i say that will wrap it up for today's video please make sure you do like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you next time